So this is lesson five for OCR, 21st century science, P1. Um, we're looking at deep time, uh, <clears throat> uh, erosion and the rock cycle. So this is a story about uh, James Hutton, who was a farmer. And he was the first person to propose the idea really that rocks existed in some kind of cycle. He noticed that uh, soil would be washed away um, from fields and also that some rocks were actually made of other bits of compacted substances, what we'd now call sedimentary rocks. So in 1785 uh, he explained his new theory of the earth at a meeting of the Royal Society in Edinburgh. Now this was like a scientific club effectively and this was a way for his ideas to meet a, reach a much wider audience. What he described was what we now know as the rock cycle. So in the rock cycle, uh, if we take a mountain, the rain acting on the mountain and the wind blowing and the act of frost would mean that the surface of rocks would become loose and crumbled away. The water, the rain water would wash that down into rivers. And then in fast flowing rivers, the, the sediment as it's known would get washed along. And then when the rivers widened out and slowed down, that sediment would start to fall to the bottom. And then over time, as layer upon layer of more and more sediment was placed on top, then we would eventually get uh, the weight compression would start forming this into layers of rock called sedimentary rock. And sedimentary rock is made of lots of different types of other rock all compressed together as a result of this erosion of the surface of rock, so by water, by wind, by heating and cooling. So uh, these layers of sedimentary rock essentially at the time, any animals which were around at that time, microscopic animals or slightly bigger animals that lived in the sea, would get trapped within those rocks. And so the layers of sediment effectively became a way of finding out the history of the planet Earth. Now obviously the Earth has a history, it was not created all at once. Um, at the time, uh, most Europeans believed that the uh, whole Earth had was created exactly as it appeared, you know, about 6,000 years earlier. And that age of the earth came from an interpretation of the Christian Bible. So there was a lot of opposition to um, Hutton's ideas. But these animals all lived at certain times, and therefore it's possible to start seeing some kind of pattern in the way that the earth had changed. Now, obviously, the oldest rocks are at the bottom of these sediments and the newer rocks are at the top. And this age of uh, millions of years over which these layers of sediment uh, became known is called deep time. So the idea that these layers have been deposited over millions and millions of years uh, is known as deep time. And these fossils are time markers, so many species lived at particular times and therefore uh, they started to give away the idea of the fact that the Earth had changed and the, the life on Earth had evolved. So um, these, uh, these ideas from Hutton uh, became known as deep time and this idea of the rock cycle is now very well established. Obviously sedimentary rock can then go on uh, to be heated under the earth to make metamorphic rock, or that rock can become liquefied and be spewed out of a volcano to become uh, igneous rock. But anyway, just wanted to look at that idea of deep time. So James Hutton, deep time, simply the idea that erosion over many millennia from the wind and the frost and the rain and the heat causing the surface of rocks to crumble that sediment flowing down into rivers and being deposited 
then eventually um, pushed by the weight of the layers above it and trapping with it different fossilized animals showing that clearly the earth had a long history longer than the 6,000 years as interpreted by the Bible. 